One day, an expert lawyer tried to trick Jesus. He said to him, Master, I'm keen to have this everlasting life that God has promised. How do I get it? Jesus said, you have the answer right there in your law book, my friend. What does it say? And the lawyer replied, you've got to love the Lord God with your heel, heart, soul, mind, and strength. And you've got to love your neighbor just as well as you love yourself. No bad, said Jesus. Just that, Nathaniel, please God. But the lawyer wasn't contented with that and asked again, aye, but just exactly who is my neighbor? Jesus decided to illustrate his meaning with a wee story. One day he said, a man was traveling along the dangerous road from Jerusalem to Jericho. Suddenly some ruffians laid into him, whipped all his gear and clays and left the poor cell half dead. Now, a Jewish priest happened to be going down that same road. He sees the man lying there, turns his head and gives him an empty body swerve. In the same way, a Levite comes on the scene, offers no help and just leaves the poor old punter lying there. Finally, a Samaritan comes along the road. He sees the man and is touched with pity. Goes out beside him, kneels down and cleans his wounds. Then he puts him on his end donkey and fixes him up at the nearest inn. He looks after him during the night and in the morning squares up with the innkeeper, promising to look in on his way back. Jesus then turned to the Lord. Now then, which one of the three was a neighbor to the wounded traveler? Dead easy, said the lawyer, <laughs> the man that was kind to him. Jesus said, right then, Jimmy, just you do the same. Amen. Well then, there we have it. The good news from the good book in the language of the people. My wee book, The Glasgow Gospel, was published way back in 1992, and in the same year, we produced a video of the book. Here are some short clips from the original production featuring my good friends, Alison MacDonald, Eileen McCallum, and Mary Marquis. When Jesus went into Jerusalem, the whole place was in an uproar. Some folk didn't ken about Jesus and asked who he was. The crowd said, this is a great prophet, Jesus. He comes from Nazareth in Galilee, so he does. But when Jesus went into the temple, he was furious at what he saw going on. Barras everywhere, buying and selling, wheeling and dealing. So at once, he heaved out of the tables of the money changers and upset the stools of the pigeon dealers, crying out, God said this temple is for prayer and worship. You ought to have turned it into a den of cheats. Late that night, Jesus sat down to eat with the twelve apostles. Jesus took the bread and said a prayer of thanks. He broke the loaf and shared it round the disciples, saying, this is my body that will be gain up for you all. And then he took a cup of wine and honed it round, saying, And this is my life blood that will be shed by me to forgive your sins. But mark this, I'll drink no mere wine until I drink it fresh in the kingdom of God. Early on the Sunday, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James went to the grave taking sweet smell anointments to put on the body. But when they got close up to the tomb, the first thing they saw was that the huge stain had been moved out the way. Well, they went in, kind of felt like. And then, all of a sudden, two men were standing in front of them. The women were terrified. They couldn't even look up. But the men said, tell us, why are you searching among the graves for someone who's alive? He's no here. He's come back to life again. It was a very successful video 
and I have to tell you, we have now run out of stock. However, do not fear. We are now embarking on a completely new version. Same script, but now on DVD, with exciting new locations and a completely new cast. If you would like to help in this project, or you would like some further information, please get in touch with me. Thank you.